All right, let's cut to the chase. It's beach season. People are trying to get in shape, lose weight, lose fat, whatever your goals are. And I'll tell you another secret, or probably not really a secret, everybody loves pizza. They don't really go hand in hand, lose weight, eat pizza, until today. I'm going to share a secret with you. It's going to slash your calorie intake by a third. Typical personal pan pizza, easily 600 or more calories, not just with the cheese, let alone the toppings. I'm going to show you today how to make the same exact pizza significantly better for you. Load up the veggies, load up the nutrients, 200 calories. Sit tight. All right, so I'm going to keep you in suspense for what the secret ingredient is that's slashing the calorie intake by over a third. But let me just show you some of the toppings I've got that I'm going to put on my pizza. I love asparagus. It's my favorite vegetable. Springtime here. Picked these up at the farmer's market yesterday, in fact. So I'm going to roast some asparagus in the oven. That's on about 450 degrees, which will be perfect to cook the pizza as well. Also got some portobello mushrooms. I just picked these up at a local Italian shop. Uh, but you can get your own at the store, saute them with some garlic and, and olive oil, whatever you'd like. I also like a little spice, so I chopped up some uh, pepperoncinis, give a little bit of kick. But again, think about it, whatever you like, I don't care what vegetable you like, try some on your pizza, some spinach, some, some squash, be creative. Give it a whirl, give it some flavor, give it a unique flavor, mix it up. A couple secret ingredients here, I'm going to show you that in just a second. Again. Normal pan pizza, about 600 plus calories. We're going down to about 200. Stay lean and eat pizza. All right, you ready for the big reveal? Hold on one second. Let me just show you the looks of this. So we got here, I chopped up that asparagus, roasted them, took about five or so minutes. Oven was at 450 degrees. Chopped them up with the portobello mushrooms and the, um, and the hot peppers. Again, regardless of the vegetables that you like, it doesn't matter what you put on there. Mix it up. Grill some veggies, play around with it, try something new every single time. And here's a secret ingredient. A basic sprouted grain tortilla. So I'm going to make my pizza instead of a typical refined carbohydrate white junky crust that's loaded with calories and, and no nutrients at all. I got a sprouted grain tortilla that I got at the, in the freezer section of the supermarket. Seven grams of fiber per tortilla, 200 calories in this entire thing. So I'm actually going to make two of these. I'm pretty hungry. Um, but still, two of these with the toppings. I got a little bit of sauce here that I just made this marinara the other day. So just kind of spreading this around in the tortilla, just like you would make any other pizza. Okay, so you spread that around, put the toppings on, top it with a little cheese or vice versa if you want to do it in that order. Bake these. Again, oven's at about 450 still from the asparagus. Bake these for around 8 or 10 minutes until that cheese melts, until this gets a little crispy. Look at that, I even made a little bit of a crust there. So it's like I'm just eating pizza itself. I'm just going to use my hands, my own dinner, so it doesn't really matter if I, if I get my hands involved. And again, got a nice little, uh, some toppings on there. Again, mix it up. Maybe, maybe you want, you know, maybe you want a little Italian sausage on there. I don't care what you put on it. Even still, this is better, significantly better than a typical pizza restaurant. Like I said, you know, I looked online actually during the break to get the exact calorie count for a personal pan pizza. 640 calories just for the cheese. And I gotta be honest, who orders just cheese pizza? So you can lop on another 100, 200 calories when you start getting into the meats and everything else, even more than that. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have two of these, be much more satisfied, load my body with the nutrients, and be successful in staying lean for the summer. So again, 10 minutes in the oven, let that cheese melt. This is going to be fantastic. Give it a try. You know, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. I couldn't resist but to show you the finished product here. Check this out. Personal pan pizza, loaded with nutrients, full of flavor. And trust me, I'm an Italian kid from New Jersey. I ain't messing around here. This is good stuff. Moreresults.com for more awesome information like this.